What's up, YouTube? I'm Brett from Rants or Us. As always, guys, if you enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave that comment down below. We're on the road to 1,000. We hope you guys can help us get there. All right, so this is our Season 1, Episode 6, Season Finale Review for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, overall, I will say this. I have actually two different takes on it. Uh, one was my initial take watching the episode, the, the, the season finale. And the other one came just as soon as the credits started rolling and all the cut scenes and all that was finished. Uh, and then the rewatch uh, of it, the second go around. Now, I usually don't like giving my initial reactions to any show that I watch uh, simply because when it's a show that I'm really excited about seeing um, a lot of emotion is involved a lot of emotion a lot of excitement and so when I'm watching something I'm seeing a lot of action on screen you know normally my first reaction is like this is amazing this didn't disappoint um, you know, this was well-deserved uh, praise, basically. Um, but then, of course, when I re-watch it, all that is gone. So I'm just watching it with my brain on. I'm knowing what's going to happen. And I'm really thinking about each action uh, that goes on, each action, each bit of dialogue. And I'm thinking clearly about it. Um, my initial reaction... Uh, was it didn't disappoint in the least bit. I thought it was an amazing episode. I would say it was the most entertaining episode to date of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Now, that didn't change with the rewatch. I actually still think it's the most entertaining episode uh, because I was intrigued from beginning to end. So that part didn't change. Um, I thought it was... Uh, I thought it was a the best that the Falcon and the Winter Soldier has offered us so far. Um, I Like I said, I, I was entertained from beginning to end. I thought the action scenes were amazing. I thought Sam, uh, Sam's new suit looked so cool. I mean, I love the suit. I love the suit completely and totally. Um, and I thought his, uh, I thought the end of the Flag Smashers was, and Carly, was uh well suited i thought it in properly uh the way that i had expected it the way that i kind of wanted it to end um and then of course there was the whole um you know bucky coming to term to think with things uh zemo finally doing something um and then um you know isaiah getting that memorial um, at the end, I thought that was a really beautiful scene, um, really touching scene, even with him and, and Sam, uh, afterwards towards the end. Um, I thought all of that worked, thought all of it worked. Sam's speech, uh, nearly made me cry the first time I heard it. I was like, oh man, this is some, this is a legit speech. This is a, uh, you know, something that was really beautiful and heartfelt uh, and really a serious thing that, you know, you could sit there and contemplate on. But then as soon as the credits started rolling, I actually did start contemplating about everything that he had just said. And it was the speech that got me. Uh, because I started, when, I, when the emotion died down and I started thinking about what he was saying, it all was a really simplistic version of unrealistic expectations. Uh, one, he said the words, uh, we shouldn't call people uh, terrorists or, and we shouldn't say refugees and all of these different things. Well, I guess as the way I personally look at it is he's a member of the Avengers. Um, and according to his logic in, in all of that is these are just, you know, all these people that, you know, whether good, bad, whatever, 
uh, all these different names are just people that have different ideals and different beliefs and different uh, ways of going about things. But at the end of the day, um, those are of equal value is the way he was basically stating it. And they should be heard. Um, but then it, but then when I got to thinking about it, I'm like, he's a part of the Avengers. And um, the next time that Thanos comes into town or somebody along those lines, I mean, are they the villains uh, if they go and try to stop somebody or try to intervene in any kind of evil plans because that's just a different mindset that's just a different you know you do you kind of situation that's like what he's basically trying to say well you know we all need to just kind of come to terms and talk about things and all that and that sounds great it really truly does sound great the only problem with that is is at the end of the day there are evil people in this world. There are evil people that you just can't just talk your way through. Just don't work that way. I mean, we've, you know, in, in real life, there's there's people that, you know, have just, you just can't handle them through conversation or talking it through. Uh, and so I kind of felt like even in the world of the Avengers, I felt like, you know what, according to his theory in that regard, um, there is no bad guy, there's no good guy, there's just different views. And so, who is he as an Avenger to tell, let's say, Thanos or any of these other villains out there uh, that they're right or wrong? I mean, does it stop and start if they hurt people? But then at the same time, he didn't want Carly being called a terrorist either, even though she killed people. So I'm like, I guess it doesn't start or stop there either. So I'm like, okay, well, so that's not his definition of it. Another thing is that he said was, you know, basically the world, you know, these different countries, they need to learn, you know, just to handle this. I mean, think about it. They had all these people just dropped on them uh overnight i mean and what he's basically asking is out of kindness they somehow make room or do some kind of uh, uh you know change up their country overnight to make room uh to you know shelters uh infrastructure uh you know money jobs all of that for like three times the amount of people that just dropped on them overnight. Um, that's not realistic in any form or fashion. That's actually kind of silly if you really think about it. Like, I get it what they're trying to, they're, they're trying to relay that to the stuff that has to do with the no borders thing and so forth like that. But I mean, in my opinion, those aren't really realistic options for anybody. Uh, so when he said that, I was like, wow, that's way too simplistic of an answer. And I didn't like that too much because I'm like, I get it. it this is a show about superheroes and it's not meant to be like taken seriously. But if they're really going to, but the way I look at it, if they're going to touch on issues like this, then we need to sit there and think about, well, wait a second, what they said. They framed it in a way that sounded great, but it was a very simplistic, really kind of silly view uh, to put out there. So I didn't like that part of it. I really didn't after I got to thinking about it. It, it actually turned out to be the worst part for me. Uh, another thing that he said, and, and this is just something that I've had with uh, this show all the way around, was the insertion of race. Um, he assumed uh, in this and, and I'll never forget there's something that my father-in-law used to say all the time and he's like anytime that you assume you make an ass out of yourself and that's kind of the what I felt like Sam did in that moment where he's like everybody through the whole episode 
all the people are just cheering him on and excited because he's Captain America and all of this stuff. And he gets up there and he says, millions of people hate me because I'm, you know, have this shield and I'm taking on the moniker of Captain America. And I'm like, that would, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have minded that if you would have shown that there was somebody that hated you, but you never showed that. They never showed anybody that said, well, you don't like, screw you. You're not Captain America. None of that. Like, he didn't, he didn't even, like, they didn't even show that in this show. So I'm like, if you're going to talk about that kind of stuff and you're going to assume that, um, you know, you're, a, to me, I feel like you're, you're, you're going at it from a really bad place. You're you're thinking automatically that you're hated. But if you're not shown that, then you have no reason to believe like that that's a mindset that isn't based in reality. And I felt like and you can say, well, whatever, whatever, in real if this was real life or whatever. But I'm talking about from this show's context. It uh, just and it, strictly just from the show's context, there was nobody that, that said e anything even remotely uh, uh, racist to him about him taking on that position. So I'm like, that felt unwarranted what he said. So you know that was another thing that I had a problem with. Um, but as far as taking the speech out, of, you know, I could talk all day about that. Um, but as far as the speech, uh, I mean, the uh, the action uh, in general when it comes to this, like I said, my initial thought was it was amazing. It was amazing. But when I rewatched it, um, I started realizing, wow, the pacing of that was really off. It was really off. Uh, everything was, everything just felt uh, incredibly rushed. It felt um, incredibly rushed. Um, nothing felt uh, when it come to Carly, uh, when it come to uh, the Flag Smashers, when it come to John Walker. None of it felt um, like they got the proper ending in that, like I said, the second go around, simply because uh, Carly never came to terms with what she did was completely and totally wrong and that, you know, any regrets of any kind. Um, like, she never, like, there was no coming to peace with what she was doing moment. There, there just wasn't with her. Um, I, and so I'm like, well, that was kind of a waste of what they really were trying to make a deep character, which I never really bought into it anyways. I never really thought the Flag Smashers were really, uh, really understood even what they were wanting uh, out of it. And you saw it in a lot of the Flag Smashers where that uh, when she's talking, what she wanted to do was something completely different than what the others wanted to do. So they weren't even, it wasn't a coherent message uh, from beginning to end when it come to the Flag Smashers. Uh, or even when it come to Carly. Another thing, John Walker. Um, they had set him up all season to be the bad guy, to be this villain, this guy that's slowly breaking down. Um, and then, of course, you know, last episode we saw him building the shield, and we knew what was coming. Uh, you know, he was going to take the fight out. I thought he was going to have a problem with uh, the Falcon and, and the Winter Soldier, but no. He didn't have a problem with them at all. In fact, he served as the good guy. Like, he showed a moral compass uh, from the very be beginning of the episode. So, I'm like, that felt... I, I enjoy, I, I'm glad they went that direction. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm not hating on them for going that direction. What I'm hating on them about is, how did that turn so quickly? Like, like you went from thinking this guy was um, the, uh, you know, the ultimate villain. Uh, you basically had this guy's 
you know, court-martialed and all this other stuff. He was about to kill Sam and Bucky. Um, and then all of a sudden it's like, no, they're, they're, they're good. They're good. So I'm like, I, I, I didn't really buy that. Like I said, first go around, no problem with it. Second go around, I started seeing those little cracks in it. So yeah, I was like, yeah, that felt, while I, well, while I'm glad they went that direction, because I really didn't want them to make him a full-fledged bad guy. Um, I thought, um, I thought it felt rushed, and I thought it felt, you know, they, he turned on a dime, and it didn't, um, uh, it didn't fit what they had been setting up in that regard. So, yeah, uh, I kind of felt like that used some, uh, could have, could have used a little bit more time to flesh out in that regard. Um, but I mean, Sam as Captain America, um, I'm actually really looking forward to the new, um, Captain America movies. If he's going to be Captain America, um, his suit, like I said, his suit looked awesome all the way around. Like I have nothing against that suit. The way he used it, still using the whole, uh, you know, Falcon theme along with that suit, I thought was amazing. When he went and he took that guy out in that helicopter, that was probably the best scene I've seen of uh, this season. I mean, it dates back to almost the beginning of episode one in the, in in this season. Uh, again, when they were he was taking down the helicopters, um, but I mean that was really a cool scene. Um, Sharon Carter being the uh, uh, power broker like that felt uh, like we knew that was coming uh, they really took a dark approach with our character that really is a little bit shocking uh, for me like I wasn't expecting them to go that dark with her but I'm kind of glad they did so I don't have a problem with anything that they did with her even though, you know, you could see that coming from a mile away. Um, you know, like I said, Flag Smashers, they never got better from beginning to end. They were just as all over the place. Uh, Sam as Captain America looks awesome. Cannot wait until the next. I'm more pumped, I will say, for the new Captain America movie after seeing this final episode than what I was before. Simply because he does a great job as Captain America. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. I hope they don't go through the whole racial aspect of it in Captain America. They don't need to do that. They just need to give us entertaining movies. But that's just you know, neither here nor there. That's just my take on it. Um, you know, I don't really want to hear political thoughts from people that's wearing, you know, capes and, and things like that. That's just my opinion on it. I don't say that we shouldn't learn lessons from superheroes uh, of any kind. I'm just saying, you know, don't give us these grand speeches that sound great when you're thinking, you know, when your your brain's turned off. And then when you turn your brain back off on, you're like, oh, man, that was dumb. Like, that was dumb. Like, we didn't even need that. Like, that took up a lot of time that they could have been doing something else with it. Um, so, yeah. A lot of people are going to say that was his greatest moment as Captain America. I don't know. Um, I kind of, uh, George, the, the fight with George St. Pierre, uh, that was kind of lame. I wish they would have just completely and totally left that out. But, I, I mean, I thought the helicopter scene, I thought a few other little things that he did during that episode was really great. Um, but, that being said, Bucky. Um the show is called The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And I never felt like Bucky was really that much a part of it. You know, in episode one, um, we got to see a lot of Bucky. We got to see, you know, him talking to the psychiatrist. Him um, trying to make amends for his past uh, sins, uh, even though he wasn't really in control of it, um, of himself at that time, um, there was all that inner turmoil, 
And then there was a turmoil with him and Sam about the whole Captain America thing. And it seemed like about like episode two, all of that was thrown to the wayside. And this show got to be all about Sam, all about Isaiah, all about Captain America, what a black man being Captain America was about. It got to be all about that. And Bucky somehow completely got left on the wayside. Um, so, you know what? If you wanted that, you should have just called this, you know, the Falcon. <laughs> you know, just called it that. Like, you didn't have to have Bucky in this. Like, And so I felt like even at the very end, uh, when he finally goes and talks to that old man about, you know, that, hey, I'm the one that actually killed your son. Um it didn't feel any I didn't feel anything about it because I hadn't I hadn't seen that since like episode one so I'm like yeah that felt um that didn't feel as satisfying as what it could have been but Bucky's storyline in general just didn't um feel that satisfying because I felt like he wasn't even a side character in this uh, you know, John Walker became more important. Sam, of course, was the star of the show. Um, hands down, I mean, that's how they wanted it to go. Not because he was better than Bucky, you know, you know, the guy that play, plays Bucky or anything. It was just, that was how the show was geared. Was that Sam was going to get more of the airtime. Uh, it was going to be his story, not Bucky's story. So, you know, at the end, I kind of feel like they kind of wasted Bucky in this, in this, uh, if they have a season two, change the name, and I don't mean Captain America, uh, uh, but, you know, Captain America and the Winter Soldier, no, just make it Captain America, if you're gonna do it that way, just leave Bucky out of it completely, we don't need to see any more of him, if that's the way you're gonna go, and that's sad, because I actually thought, um, in episode one, that was the strongest storyline, was him trying to come to grips with his past sins. And unfortunately, we, they just totally forgot about it. So yeah, I'm a little disappointed by that. So like I said, when I initially watched this, I would have probably given this a nine. Because I was really thinking it was going to go down the WandaVision uh, road and I was going to be really disappointed by it but I wasn't um, but then after re-watching it I would say I give it more of a 7 simply because I did entertain it didn't entertain me from beginning to end uh, yes I thought the speech was stupid um, but um, and I wish they would have done more with Bucky's story but there's no way you could have finished that in in this episode and would have taken the whole episode to make amends for that regard um i am pleased the way that they did with john walker uh i thought that was an unexpected turn that i really liked i enjoyed the cut scene at the end when we get to see him as u.s agent um so overall yeah i will give it about a seven um simply like i said because i was entertained i thought uh sam as captain america was uh superb I love this suit. I mean, I keep talking about his suit, but I actually really love this suit. Um, I, and, and I'm more excited about Captain America after seeing uh, the Falcon Winter Soldier, uh, the new Captain America movie. So, I mean, that alone just makes me want to say, okay, while this episode didn't, you know, made a lot of mistakes, um, it still made me excited for future Marvel installments. So that I will say is a win for this series. Uh, but overall, guys, let me know what y'all think down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and y'all take care.